Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this logo that needs a little help, needs a little cleanup. The interior part traced better than the exterior part. So I've already traced the interior part and, and cleaned it up. It, it's perfect. Now, I like drawing in the center of the page, but this logo has a lower part that won't let me allow me to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and lock this guy because I've got it right where I want it. So what I did, I drew a circle around the logo, the outer circle. And then I nudged the logo up to that circle all the way around. And then I was able to lock my logo. Now, we're going to get rid of this indexing line for just a second. We can always put it back. We're going to take our two-point line. And we're going to draw from that node to that node. We're going to draw from that node to that node. And we're going to draw from this node to this node. And you'll see it says intersection, and that's what we need. Now, that's a little bit off, but very easily fixed. Just take it and just move it over a little bit. And for the video, that's good enough. And then I think mine is going to look better than the logo itself. So let's try the Smart Fill tool. And we're filling in the logo. And that's not what we want. So let's take our logo now and unlock it. And now let's nudge it over out of the way. So now we have this part right here. Let's take our virtual segment delete key and delete this inner part. There's a little bit of a nub there. Let's take our virtual segment delete key and delete that little nub. Now, we don't know if we're going to have a leak. So we're going to get our rectangle tool and put a rectangle around this in case we do have a leak. We're going to get our smart fill tool. And we've got some leaks. And they're on these lines that I just drew. So we can take our shape tool and just extend these lines outward. There's my leak right there. I didn't draw it long enough. Now let's take the Smart Fill tool. Still got a leak down here, and you can see it. Just draw that line past that line. Take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in. Voila, there it is. Now let's nudge that up out of the way. Let's take our rectangle. We do not need it anymore. And let's hit delete. And let's actually delete our lines. Because we drew them, we can just delete them. We do not need them anymore. Let's take our virtual statement delete key and just get rid of that little factor right there. Now we can nudge this back. We'll turn it black. I'm just going to left click. I'm going to nudge it down. It's exactly where it needs to be. And because we haven't changed our nudge distance, we can nudge this back over exactly where it needs to be. Now, this logo is not perfect because this side has some gaps and this side doesn't. So we're going to do it like that. And now we'll bring in that indexing line back and hit P. So we've got indexing lines in our center. We're going to grab our new shape and we're going to control D and make a duplicate. We're going to click on it again, which is basically double clicking, and we're going to move it to the center. Now, we don't know what that degree of rotation is, but we can rotate it over here. And it's, we're going to make it 28 degrees. Control D, which is 56 degrees. Control D, now Corel will take over. Now, on this side, it's a little different because of this, and it, it's, it's not an equal logo. <clears throat> so let's take this one, Control-D, and now we're going to take 360 minus 28. I didn't move my rotation to the center because we made a new duplicate. I always like to back up and double-check it to make sure it's in the center. Now, we, instead of getting our calculator, we can just go 360 minus 28. Control D, 320 minus 28. 
Control D. Now this is where the logo is a little bit different. Well, we're going to go ahead and make two more duplicates. And because they're, you still got your rotation skewed to the center, just click on it and just rotate it to there. Take this one, double click, rotate it to there. I've already drawn lines here and here to stop that logo. So what I would do here would be to take this shape and put no fill and you see what I'm doing there. The logo is not perfectly round either. So now we're going to take our new shape and nudge it out or our logo and shape it out of the way. Take it out of the way. Use our smart fill tool to fill in that shape. We'll turn it black. We'll fill in that shape. And I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and fill in that circle. I need to just change it to black. Uh, I'm using somebody else. Somebody, somebody sends me a file. I get their file or their set. The way they have their settings. Now we can take our circles and with your pick tool, hold down the alt button and you grabbed all your circles. Let's just nudge them out of the way. Let's get them out of the way better. Take your magnifying glass, your zoom tool, and delete these other lines. Click on that and hit delete. Click on that and hit delete. We're just taking away these lines that were our stop factor. <clears throat> now we can take our logo back. And you can see how it worked because it's perfect. We're going to go to arrange, ungroup our logo. We're going to take that part and we're going to nudge it out of the way. I must have two copies. I'm going to just move all this down for a second because our logo is all broken up. So I'm basically just getting our new shapes out of the way. And I'm using the nudge distance. I'm just using the arrows. Now we can take this logo and hit delete. And because we haven't changed anything, we can nudge that right back. Let's get these circles out of the way. Take this and nudge it over. And there is your good, crisp, clean logo. It's off right there. I made a little mistake. Very easily fixed. Uh, this, this should go further. And the more I look at it, there's some parts of the logo that aren't cleaned up. And young lady, I will clean those up and I'll actually send you this file back. But that's how I would do it. Uh, especially with this here. Um, it's just, it, it's not symmetrical. I mean, it's 28 degrees and, and uh, so it's easier sometimes to draw something. And there's a little bit of logo there still. It's a lot easier sometimes to draw something than it is to try to trace it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.